We got a few of tonight's press vinyl records, and, and they're, they're awesome. awesome because we've got the totally unusual '80s. Unusual. Unusual. This is not typical '80s stuff. This is the, uh, the unusual '80s. You're so unusual. She's so unusual. And did you know in '81 that McDonald's released the McNugget? The McNugget. The McNugget. What? Really? Back then, didn't they have white and dark meat? Yes, they did. They did. And one time, I even got a bone. You had the first McRib. And it was not fun. It was in a 30 piece. And it was like number 28. I remember me and my sister squishing every single chicken nugget. We all wanted the white meat ones. We didn't like the dark meat ones. We all wanted the white meat. So we squoze every single chicken nugget to figure out which one was what. I don't think my parents liked the idea of the chicken McNuggets because we always had burgers. Okay. What type of sale you got going on? Oh, oh, that's right. Because it is Christmas in July. So, Mrs. Claus, is that you? Yes, it is. Wow. Because this week you get to pick your own present. What? For every item that you buy, $1.99 and up, you get to pick out a free dollar item. We've got dollar records, CDs, DVDs, LPs, cassettes. books, cassettes, video games. How many do we have to choose from? Thousands. Thousands? Thousands. 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 So if you buy five records that are $3.99, you could pick out $5 records or $5 CDs. You could mix and match. You could get some dollar records and dollar CDs and dollar books. But yeah. you can't stack them up. Can't stack them up. It's dollar items only. Mm-hmm. You don't get like $10 off or $10 for free. You get 10 free dollar items. So they really do get to pick their mm -hmm. own presents. Pick your own present. It's one of my favorite sales. This is my favorite sale. How about you? I agree. All right. All right. And I'm so excited. Does the coupon go out tonight? Yes, it does. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got in this box. Kiss. Music from The Elder, the movie that never happened. Are you sure? Um, I'm 85% sure. I think I got a bootleg. I, I think Brian told me that it never happened. Mm. From Reality Suite. Interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he told me it never happened. Stephen King, Children of the Corn, Ooh, iconic what? 80s movie, horror movie that I've never seen. You've I never like seen it? No, I don't like to be scared. South Pet Cemetery, movie. that was good enough. It's classical music. Okay. But it's awesome classical music because well, it's kind of like the scary stuff. I was going to say, if it's a horror movie, they got to have some scary classical music. That's what they have to do. Oh, yeah. It's to set the oh, mood. Yeah. Yep, to set the mood. Do, 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 This isn't Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> but that's some, some scary classical music. Yes. Oh, yeah. You hear that coming and you're in the water. You're oh, like, I'm getting the fuck out. All right. Get out of my way. What you got? Oh. I got Tracy Chapman, and this is her debut album. Did you know that she first started playing the ukulele when she was three? What? Three. Was it a Fisher Price ukulele? I, I don't know, but her mother bought her her first ukulele when she was three. Did you have a ukulele? Yeah, I did. Excellent. And when oh. she was eight, she started playing guitar and writing her own songs. Yes. Okay. And she's won four Grammys, three of them for this album. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Dag nasty. Dag nasty. Dag nasty. Dag nasty. Dag nasty. He seems a little confused and heartbroken. Isn't that some punk? It does. It, it is some. It's some hardcore. Hardcore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, unusual. Hardcore Sunday with Mel Twist. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> We've got Mystic Sampler, and this one's a punk sampler. Doctor No. Slaughterhouse Five. Rat All right. Pack. All right. Like and Dirty Rats. Rat Pack. What? I don't know. I'm looking at the cross on the skeleton's head. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mystic Records. Oingo Boingo. Yeah. All right. Isn't that awesome? Dead Man's Party. Oingo Boingo. And did you know how Oingo Boingo got their name? How? Because um, Danny Elfman's old brother used to run a um, performance art troupe. And that's how they got the name. From, from the performing arts troupe? From his performance art troupe. Cool. Mm -hmm. Billy Bragg. Awesome record. Prince Buster. That's right. There's some ska and reggae. Ah. Orchestral maneuvers in the dark. In the dark? In the dark. What? What? Are you afraid of the boogeyman? Are you afraid of the boogeyman? Ah, she's smacking people. Stop. Run, Stop. run, Stop. children Stop. of the cord. Stop. Oh. <laughs> More orchestral maneuvers in the dark. Ah. Blind idiot god. Yeah. What? Aliens. Okay. Aliens. Some hardcore too, I think. Mm-hmm. Aliens. 
Okay. Prince, Purple Rain. With the poster. Awesome. And we've got the glove, Blue Sunshine. This is an import from the UK. All right. He's from REM. Who? He's okay. He's from Susie and the Banshees. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I have this on CD, too, and the CD has extra songs. Very cool. Camouflage. Psychic TV. Psychic and they're TV. Live, they're live. They're live. They're, they're live. live. They're live. They're live. Live psychics Ooh, on what? TV. And this one was also from the UK, and it's also got a funny skull. They must be related to Dionne Warwick. <laughs> Ario Speedwagon. You too. And more U2. And more U2. And another U2. Crowded House. That's pretty iconic for the 80s mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. uh, more coffee for the politicians. This is another punk compilation. It's the Phoenix Underground Punks. Okay. okay mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I know any of them. Racer X sounds familiar, mm -hmm. but not 100% certain. Belly. That's a great movie. <laughs> modern English. More modern English. That's my favorite Elvis Costello record right there. Is it really your favorite record or is it just your favorite cover? Both. Both? Yes. It looks fun. Yeah. That's his later, that's his later, uh... Yeah, it was like 88 or 89. Yeah, 89. it's a later record. Postcards from the Paradise. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What the? It's the nails. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing nails. Mm -hmm. It's a 12-inch single. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Are. All right. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Madonna. Yeah. Now, that's not unusual, that's, but that's, when you're going to talk to 80s, she's unusual. Yeah. <laughs> she's also iconic. Ooh, the Mighty Lemon Drops. And another one. Aha! Aha! Eureka? Aha! You struck old. Take on me, take on me. And I have a fun fact. Did you know in January of 1980, gold went up to eight, $850 per ounce? Nice. Did you buy it back then? No. Darn it. I was even born. Aha! Eureka? <laughs> <laughs> oh, big audio dynamite. There you go. Jimmy Buffett and his gold stamp promo. Elton John. And he's live! live! He's live! In Australia, I think, right? Uh -huh. I think so. Yeah. So they ran the spine. The Neon Judgment. The Human League. L Lizzie Buckingham. It's Lizzie Buckingham. I'm so excited. I'm going to go insane. All right. All right. Soft Cell. Susie and the Banshees. Suzanne Vega. Steve Earle and the Dukes. Put your Dukes up. Put your whoa, Dukes whoa. Up. No fighting. No fighting. Sting. Elliot Eastman, World Party. Doesn't this look like an awesome Oingo Boingo cover? You know, I thought this was a comp at first, but it's not. It's not? No. I thought it was Oingo Boingo. No. But it's not. Weird, right? <laughs> Got me good. The Cover Girls. ABC, ABC. Easy as one, Air. two, <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Robertson, The Cars. And then Benjamin Orr. The Lace. Do you know who Benjamin Orr is? He was the bassist from The Cars. Very good. Mm -hmm. yep. And I think this was like the only album he released. It, it has a hit on there though. It does. It yeah. has a lot of hits. Well, it has one that made it to like, I yeah. don't know, yeah, up there. Had, and he had huge MTV play. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rick Osick. The Sugar Cubes. Do you know who's in The Sugar Cubes? Who? You don't remember from last time? Who's in The Sugar Cubes? Who is it? <laughs> I can't believe you don't remember who's in the Sugar Cubes. She don't remember either. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. I know this. I know this. Not I was like, this is a trick question. <laughs> wow. Wow. Bjork. Well, is it Bjork? It's Bjork. Okay. I'm like, I know this. I know this. She got a funny name. <laughs> we got Big Country. Big Country. <laughs> and then we got Marshall Crenshaw. It's a gold stamp promo. The Fix. More of the fix. One of them is new wave and one of them is rock. Rock. Isn't that weird? Yeah. That is, that is weird. Because I had just assumed they were both going to be new wave. Mm -hmm. And I was wrong. Huh. Weird. Paul Young. Splitty Par Paulitty. Skipley. Out of Mant. Yeah. Moody Blues. And this one's a UK import. Is that from the 80s? Yes. And it includes a live version. Because they're live. Live, they're live. Partly. 
box of frogs. How cool would it be to get a box of frogs for Christmas? <laughs> Do you want a box of frogs for Christmas? I'm good, dude. I can hook you up. I'm good. How about a box of turtles? Actually. Teenage Mutant Ninja ones. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's from the 80s. Yeah. Dream Academy. Spandu Ballet. The Fabulous Thunderbirds. The, the Babies. We know a few of those. The Motels. Missing Persons. Firetown. Firetown? Fire, bearing the torch. They're on fire. <laughs> Grace Slick. Olivia Newton-John. Culture Club. Asia. Asia. Brian Adams. Brian Adams. More Brian Adams. Oh, no. oh. John Cougar Mellencamp. More John Cougar Mellencamp. Uh-huh. Huh? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> it's called uh-huh. Oh, oh. Shriek Back, Go Bang, and this one. She was, Bangs? No. Oh. This one was recorded in the Bahamas. Oh, nice. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Quarter Flash. Now, what is she doing there? Is she quarter flashing everybody? Is that what it's supposed to I be? Think it's her shoulders. I think she's wrapping herself in a blanket. That's the dress code. Mmm. RSW, Renegade Soundwave, uh, Icicle Works, The Truth. The Truth. The Truth. The Truth. The Truth. Now. Now. Huh? Weapons of Love. See? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Charlie Sexton. There you go. Look how sexy he looks. I'm good. 80s version of Houston. Mr. 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 <laughs> Todd Sharp. Billy Burnett. Snow White. And it's a picture disc. Snow White? Uh-huh. Peter Pan. And it's a picture disc. Times Square soundtrack. There you go. Bright Lights Big City soundtrack. Fire and Ice. They're on fire! And ice. And they're skiing. Ray Charles, The Genius After Hours. I'd, Oregon or Oregon? I think it's Oregon. Oregon, or is it like... Origami? I don't know. I was told if you're really from Oregon, you're supposed to say Oregon. Joe Jackson. Jan Jackson. We are a part of the Rhythm Nation. Now, I know somebody looking for this one in particular. Really? Yes. That's Bill? Cool. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was telling me, oh, what are in the new releases coming out? And I'm like, man, I got them. Don't worry. Janet Jackson. <laughs> Control and more Janet Jackson. Michael Bolton. Everybody has Michael Bolton playing at their wedding. Uh-huh. Everybody. Uh-huh. Every freaking wedding from our era, da down or up, however you say it, has a Michael Bolton song mm -hmm. playing, guaranteed as mm -hmm. in their wedding. Ooh. It's Merle, Merle Travis. Grandpa Jones. And it's live! Look, farm and home hour. Nice. Puck fair, fair play. Celtic. All right. Is that the Celtic and, and new folk? Yes. Yes, and yes. neo folk. Yes, Celtic and neo folk, and I'm not sure neo folk. I priced the record today that's not in this box, and I was like, it was happy hardcore. That was the genre, happy, happy hardcore. Hardcore. Isn't that an oxymoron? It was house music also. House music going that long. Happy, 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 happy. Hardcore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crappy. So what, people are smiling really hard as they pretend to kick you in the face? I guess so. I mean, I guess they're on the MDMA and uh, they can't help but smile and uh, they're playing music. All right, we need a poll. We do need a poll. Pick out, pick out a favorite CD. Okay. Go ahead. I'm going to show them these new ones. Okay. Just priced a bunch of these suckers today. Robert Plant, Pearl Jam, yeah, Depeche Mode, Eddie Vedder, there you go. Got the police, police the, oh, there's that blue uh, sunshine she was talking about. Ah, Focus, Florence and the Machine, Black Keys, Fat Boy Slim, The Saints, some punk, early on punk, Roxy Music, Blondie, Dandy Warhols. Yeah, priced a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I've been pricing a lot of this stuff lately. But I'm super excited for the sale that's coming. Should be interesting. Oh, got some Stooges. All right, I think they are ready. Hold on, I'm going to switch. What you got? Fleetwood Mac. Oh, you chose her pick. Did she pick your pick? <laughs> what you got? 
bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I want to ride my. That's a heck of a matchup. Top screen to be not quick. Sucker and vote for either her, Fleetwood Mac, or her, Queen. All right, I'm done. I'm out of here. And now, you gotta leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite record in this box is because we had some really awesome stuff. You gotta give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everybody likes a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. And you gotta head over to our eBay store because now, no matter where you are in the world, you can get yourself a Spin Me Round t shirt. Are you sure? I am 100% positive. What? We've had from other countries, we've had from the other side of the US. It's awesome. Nine. Nine. And then you have to subscribe. 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 <laughs> subscribe. Ring that bell. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Because we do a video like this every night. And we'll see you tomorrow. They're still going to figure out this bell thing, aren't they? Huh. <laughs> so I'm like, I got to put it on like a rubber band or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I got to do something. All right. All right. Let's see what we got still over here. Expensive stuff. A kiss. Couple Smiths, I made in there. Still got some stuff left in here. Shazam was in there. Whoa! Just seen that movie. Awesome movie. I thought it was gonna be a stupid, silly movie. It was actually pretty good. I gotta say. Right? What'd you guys think of the movie Shazam? I liked it. It's awesome. It took me two days to watch it, but I watched it. Yeah. All right. Goodbye.